Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by for the first time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. My name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I am back for a second time today. The first video I did earlier was all about the Sesame Street at Dollar Tree. Amazing what they have. Every single item I shared with all of you earlier today, I fit in the actual makeup bag itself there it is right there a whole bag of goodness and then i was online just a few moments ago and i saw two other pieces to this kit that i never saw so i don't know i think i found 14 pieces in total so i really wonder how many pieces are in this entire collection so anyways i have the rest of my dollar tree haul my regular dollar tree haul to share with all of you Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I'm currently living, and that is in the state of New York. All right, so where to begin? Oh my gosh. I'm going to start with some socks, but these are socks like I haven't seen before. These are so cute. You're going to get two pairs of socks. These are a little bit bigger size foots. And they are shoe size or sock size 10 through 13, shoe size 6 through 12. How about some bubble yum? Oh my gosh, I couldn't tell you how many pieces of bubble gum that I have actually chewed in my lifetime. There's the first pair, there's the second pair. And it's funny because the second pair says, Blow your own bubble. It's just all about fun. Here is where I'm showing you the actual sizes right there. This is a official. Hershey's licensed product. These are so cool. Not cool enough. <laughs> How about some Hershey's Kisses? These are all going to be in the larger size sock that I showed you. So we have Hershey's Kisses and these are pretty much going to go around your ankles. Okay. They're not the no-shows. These are ankle. And then we have Hershey's Kisses on this side. This one actually says, I think it says Kisses on there. See if I can open it apart. Yeah, right across there, it just says kisses on it. Um, so there's the next two pack. Then how about some Jolly Ranchers? Another one of my favorites. We have Jolly Ranchers on this side. And then we have Twizzlers on this side. Again, these are all Hershey's licensed products. So that's three different sets. One more set to share with you. I have no idea how many sets there are. These were just the four that I found. And this is a second pair of Jolly Ranchers that look like this. And then they have this striped pair that says on the top, Jolly Rancher that looks like that. So yeah, for a buck and a coin, these are just too cute. I haven't seen anyone haul these yet. I'm not saying that they haven't. I just haven't seen anyone with them, but um, so yeah, so two, four, six, eight pairs of socks. You can't beat that for the price. These are adorable. So I'm wondering how many more different ones are going to come out. Now, staying with socks, these are five pairs in a package for a buck and a coin. Here comes that price tag I was telling you guys about. All right, so this is for shoe size four through ten these are considered low cut socks i'm getting all that information off the tag right there look at all the different colors you're getting so pair one two three four and five for a buck 25. not a bad deal at all when i first saw them i was like no way, these don't belong here. These belong in the five section, but I was surely wrong. Found another set. Here we go with the colors. Your first pair, second pair, third, whoops, come on now, fourth, and fifth. For a buck 25, not bad at all. All right, so let's get out of socks. Let's go over to the department where stationery, things like that. I found some more boxes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm still finding these things. How cool are these? This time I found Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Here we go. 
Love Buzz Nightmare. Totally cool. These are the big ends. They are eight and a half inches by three, just shy of three and a half inches. Here it is. Your sticker is going to come off on the back because it says Buzz along there. How cute are these? They hold lots and lots of stuff. I also found, and these usually come wrapped in plastic so they don't get all banged up. There we go. <laughs> How cute. It's woody. Oh my gosh. And then back here, what does it say? Made to, there's a sticker on here. So bear with me. Let me peel the sticker back because I can't tell you what it says. Made to play is what it says. I peeled the sticker down so I could read it. But there it is. There's your inside. And then I found a third one. I was like, oh my gosh. The third one says it's playtime and it's got the whole gang on there here it is all the way around again your stickers are going to come off so yeah i was super super excited to see these guys because it was the first time i had seen them so there's a great shot right there I then found these tins. Now these tins are much smaller. They had these, I'm, I wanna say they had these last year. Um, and I got them and I was putting colored pencils in there. They had this one here, which is a very pretty butterfly design. You could use this, you know, markers, pencils, makeup brushes. They're just, you know, obviously they're much smaller than what I just showed you. They're like half the size. But these are just, you know, a little bit more not so focused on the character. Then I saw unicorn ones in this pretty mint green. Love it. And last but not least, this one here with rainbows and daisies. Love this mint green color. So very pretty. All right. Also in the stationery department, or was that in the stationery department? Yep, that's it for stationery. I did pick a couple new books up. <clears throat> When I was younger, I used to read Nancy Drew and I found them to be pleasant books. I found four different Nancy Drew books. I was surprised. So I grabbed all four and I'm gonna be dropping these off probably at the hospital. This first one is Nancy Drew Diaries, The Haunting on Helotrope Lane. So I grabbed that one right there. They also had Famous Mistakes. They had Once Upon a Thriller, and I'm not sure how many are in the set, but I found four, and I thought that was great. Secret of Mystic Lake. So I thought that was a great find. <clears throat> also, I found two new notebooks. Yes, more notebooks. These are hardbone notebooks, though. These ones measure about six inches by eight inches. This one simply just says, you see my fingerprints. It says, yikes. I say that all the time. I don't know why. I just do. I say yikes all the time. So again, this one is hardbound. It's a bullet journal. So when you open it up, look at how pretty that is on the inside. It basically, look at this paper. And then you see the little smiley faces all the way around the paper. How cool is that, right? It just makes it a little bit different. And then I found this one as well with just the same size. And I'm sorry. They do not say how many pages are in here anymore. I believe it used to be 60. Um, I think it's like down to 50. But this one says, do more of what you love. And there it is right there. Beautiful colors on this book. And when you open it up, there's part of your inside. They just went the extra mile here. Look at how pretty this one is. All the flowers and every page is like that. It's not just a couple of pages. They're all like that. So I thought those were really nice to have. All right, in the beauty department, besides the um, scores of all the Sesame Street, I did find some nails, and these are by Pretty Women, and I'm thinking, wow, if these don't have racetrack written all over them, it's crazy. So these are Pretty Nail Women, Pretty Women Faux Nails. You're going to get 24 nails in here, and that is the design. Let me get the glare off for you. There's the design for that one, which is just Wow total racetrack so i did pick up two of those and then i saw these and i was like oh i just love the mint green with the black i was like though let me get the glare off for you 
there you go they were so pretty so i ended up getting two pairs of those as well aren't those just pretty love them absolutely love them and by the way these were two different designs um so you have the more of the stiletto i think that's what it's called stiletto and then you have more of the like squared off ones so they're definitely two different shapes of nails is what i'm trying to say all right moving on was that it oh no this was in the beauty department as well um this is for spa life for men zero puff 12 patches six pairs and they are charcoal and vitamin c hydrogel under eye masks this is what it looks like let's open this up So they're all individually packaged and that is what they look like. And you know what? If I put them on, I don't think the police are going to show up at my door saying, you're wearing a man's face mask. Um, I don't know. This world and day, you never know. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. So grab those. They had in the... Where did it go? Oh, in the food department. Snacks and sweets and treats. Okay, this was like... First of all, I've never even heard of this company before. These are called Feastables by Mr. Beast Cookies. Um, these are peanut butter chocolate chip. Now they are plant-based, gluten-free. And what the hell's the point of eating them? I'm just joking, you guys. Come on now. Lots. I have a very good friend that's gluten-free. And if he eats anything with gluten... Man, we're in the car and right to the emergency room. Even after getting stuck with all the epi stuff. Oh, I've never seen a man get so sick so fast. So plant-based, gluten-free, six ounces. <clears throat> These are good until December 26th of 2024. No GMO ingredients, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavorings, and no hydrogenated oils. These come out, whoa, distributed by Chicago, Illinois. You go, girl. That's home for me, always will be. All right, so, um, yeah, should we try one of these? Ooh. All right, let's check them out, shall we? Here we go. Oh, the things I do for my friends on YouTube. No, just kidding. All right, here we go. First, we're going to open it up and get a whiff. Actually, I've smelled worse. No. All right, so let's take a look at these babies. Except for the one I threw on the floor, but there's quite a few in there. They are shaped very well. Wow. Here's what they look like. Not bad, right? They feel super, super soft. And I'm going to assume this because of all the plant base in there. Um, all right, you guys. I love you all. So here we go. Let's give this cookie a try. As you can tell, I'm a little reluctant because... Okay, you know, if somebody just said it was a cookie, I would never know. Wow. Very soft. Huh. Yeah, I would totally eat these. Actually, I'm going to get some of these for my friend. I think he'd enjoy these. All right. Peanut butter chocolate chip. It says back here, more noms, more prizes, more beast skin in here. Well, Feastables, dude, if you're watching me, I think I need a t-shirt. I'll give you guys a thumbs up. Woo woo. All right. Look what else I found. Same company. Six ounces. Mr. Beast cookies. These are your regular chocolate chippers. Expiration date, April 2nd of 2025. So it's not like they're expiring tomorrow. That's why they're at the tree. Nice reusable zipper open bag. First impression, they smell good. I will say they've got some consistency with their sizing. That's a pleasure to see. Here's some out of this bag. Look at that. That's quite a bit of consistency there. You feel the weight of the cookie. And I don't mean that in a heavy, like, oh, there's like a ton of flour in it. Um, but you feel it. They're very moist. I mean, really, they just, look at that. There's like no crumble because they're so moist. All right, so this is the chocolate chip one. Wow. 
Wow. First of all, I, you know, I do have sweets. I eat sweets. I do a lot of baking. I do a lot of cooking. Um, if somebody didn't tell me what was in there, I would think they were regular cookies. The peanut butter ones, I like better. The chocolate chip are very good, but I love my peanut butter. I would definitely recommend these. I will give these guys a thumbs up for sure. Wow, that was a pleasant. I'm just going to take a little sip of my coffee because I got a few more things to share with all of you. Hmm. Those were very pleasant. All right, in the department where you have all the upcoming holidays or what's going on, we got 4th of July coming up, Memorial Day weekend coming up. Have you seen these trays for food or fun or fruit? These are made out of plastic. These are for 4th of July or like I said, whatever holiday. How cute are these? First of all, I was thinking I would just get two of these, right? And then I was thinking strawberries, blueberries, and then what do we want to put here in the middle? You know, something white, like, I don't know, what kind of fruit's really light? Like maybe honeydew melon cut up? But how cute would these be with themed colors of fruits or cheeses or whatever? I just thought they were super fun. Get them out on a table, put one on each end, maybe themed something like this in the middle. You guys know how much I like to do my party things. And these were just too fun. And they are big. Do chips and dips. They measure 13 and a half inches. So that is not a small tray at all. And they are so cute. So many things out for the different holidays. They also had for 4th of July or Memorial Day, these light up glasses. Of course, I'm going to open them and try them on. They say they light up. I'll believe it when I see it. All right. So they're definitely clear. I'm seeing where do they, oh, okay, right here. Well, it would help if um, some of the screws weren't missing that I'm noticing. But anyway, so there's a little pull tab right here. So that's gonna get those batteries to kind of join together. So hopefully this is gonna turn on. It says there's three different modes, fast, slow, and steady. Uh, where do you turn it on at? Oh, right here. So there's a little switch right at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna say that's your flash. Slow. Okay, so regular, dead. <laughs> flash, slow. Oh, okay, maybe I could be wrong, but you know what? These are cute. Let me take my glasses off here and put these on. All right, so at first I was gonna be worried that there would be too much light in your eye, but because it's up here, it's really not affecting what you see in here. Um, but yeah, I could totally, totally see myself wearing these at a party. Now let's sing a song, shall we? What's the first song that pops into my head? Oh my gosh, I'm like totally going Blake right now. Anyways, all right, more things to share with all of you guys, but I'm gonna save them for the next time. So I really appreciate all of you taking the time to watch me today. I hope you found something to add to your wish list. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot. While I have these flashing glasses on, we have a giveaway winner. I showed you all a Otter Spirit bracelet that I had done a product review on about a week ago. Was it even a week ago? And they blessed me with three gorgeous bracelets and I chose two for myself. And one I decided to put into a giveaway and it was the amethyst one that looks just like this. It has a little otter on the front there because they donate to every purchase. They donate to otters. And so I have picked a giveaway winner. And I don't have my microphone here, but I got a pretty big mouth. So I want to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed to my channel, that have sent in your In It to Win It. And the winner of this beautiful bracelet is going to, drum roll please, <laughs> Miss Taco Patty, what? Miss Taco Patty has been with me forever and I appreciate her so very much and I love her to pieces. This is the first thing she has ever won and I hope you love it to pieces. 
Please chime in down below and let me know you saw this video. You have 48 hours to claim your prize, Miss Patty. Congratulations to you and thank you to all of you that participated. Now, shall we have a Sesame Street giveaway? Hmm, I'm gonna put a poll up. You guys are gonna have to let me know. So make sure you put in your two cents. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much. Bye for now.